Good morning, and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who've been keeping up, thanks for subscribing and sticking with us. For those of you that haven't, it's a good time to stop, pause, hit that subscribe <laughs> button, help us out. But we are up here in Indiana, nice flat, gray skies, the Indiana we remember. Yep. <laughs> but we've been here for five weeks now. We've been mooch docking and back yard of some family. But that time's to an end. We're packing up and it's back to Georgia. So we're going to go ahead and get everything rounded up here, hit the road. The goal for today is to get down to Kentucky, just a short drive. Once we get down there, we'll tour the place we're staying a little bit and have a little talk with you and fill you in on the plan going forward here now that we're out of the family mooch docking phase. Yep. So we'll catch you guys here in 10 to 20 seconds. So stop one for the day, we are in Kentucky. We are at Taylorsville, hold on. Yeah, Taylorsville Lake State Park Campground. It's a mouthful. So you pull into this park, for those of you that haven't been here before, you get to an admin information center building on the right. That's not where you need to stop. You stop, there's a note on the door to keep going to the campground. So you bypass that and you'll get down to an entrance to the actual campground. So one thing in the past we haven't done real good at is giving tours of the campgrounds we're at, especially these one-nighters. By the time you stop, set up, you're just eating, going to bed, and turn around for the next day's trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin the camera around here and we'll do a little tour of the campground. So if you're thinking about stopping here, you can see which sites are wide open, which ones are shaded, which ones are pull through. But it's broke down into three loops. There's sites one through 10 in a loop, 11 through 40, and then 41 through 45 are back on their own. So we'll drive around and show you those real quick. And to the right you have horse camping. So that's where all the horses are camping. The people are to the left. So sites 1 through 10 are here to the left, but you have to loop down around them. And you can see dump stations to the right. We'll circle to the back first. here is boat trailer parking and sites 41 through 45. We should put a nice little turnaround for you. Come on Shanna. This is 41, moving on up through 45. Okay, 11 through 40 are down yonder. So 
breaks into 11 through 20 to the right here. Arcadia we want to talk to and see what he thinks of his camper. Put the dog on the table. And yeah, so this two is, other dogs. Jeez, they have four dogs. This is 21 through 40 as it circles down and back. Yeah, that's 23, 24 on the right here. Like 26 to 29 around the little roundabout. And on the other side, it's 30 up through 40. is the bathhouse which actually is pretty decent Shanna even approved yeah hey class B and then this is loop 1 through 10 so playground Site one here on the left, and then it staggers on back around. Which we're all the way down here at the end of site ten. Oh, there you go. Campground tour. Here we go, Sky. Here we go. Here we go. It's time. It's time. Let's go. She looked at the truck like what? Good morning. Just got up, sitting around the campground here. We are at Taylorsville Lake State Park in Kentucky. Just doing a one-nighter. You know, it seems like we're doing a lot of one-nighters lately. <laughs> yeah, so to catch everyone up to what we've been doing, sold the house in the spring. Well, no, we didn't. Let me correct that. Sold the house okay. in the summer. Let me start that over. <laughs> so for those of you that haven't seen some of our previous videos, to catch up to what we've been doing, Kit graduated high school in May. Put the house on the market in June. Sold the house in July. Got the kid into college in August. August. And then we hit the road. So we had some one night stays getting up to family up in Indiana. And then we spent about five weeks in Indiana with family, just hanging out with them, catching up with people we haven't been able to see for a while and just spending time instead of 
the Rushing normal. Out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Normally we go up to visit. For those of you that live away from family, it's in and out. Nice to see them, but then you feel stressed to see as many people as possible, <laughs> so you don't see people as long as you want to. So it was nice to just take the camper, spend a month or so, see everybody. We did some upgrades while we were yep. there. Yeah, took advantage of that time, upgraded the camper a little bit. And then now it's heading back to Georgia. So hence the one-nighters here. So one night at this campground and then unfortunately we're go-getters. <laughs> we get up early, get the camp or the camper loaded, and we hit the road. But the campground we're staying at today, check-in's not till four, which is weird. So we're just chilling now. But We'll hang out this morning. Then the goal is to go down to Cumberland Lake State Park in Tennessee today, which we've stayed there before. Nice campground. Do that tonight, and then tomorrow we'll get to Georgia. Since we've been doing all this, just get somewhere, get back, chaos of selling houses, next week we're just chilling and actually using our camper for what we want. Yeah. <laughs> so we're actually staying at a RV resort, which... We don't do that very often. We've done private campgrounds, state parks, national parks. This is our first RV resort we've actually stayed at. So we'll have full hookups, we'll have Wi-Fi, we'll have a dog park, and we're spending a week there. And it's also about a half hour from the kids' college. In a nice area. We've yep. been in that area and we like it. Yep. So it's up near Ella J, Georgia, so real nice. So the plan is to do that for a week. And then the following week, we are going to be going down further south into Georgia. And we're spending a few months as campground hosts. So we've met a lot of awesome campground hosts over the last several years. And we've talked about doing it. Shanna thought she'd really enjoy it. And since I work remotely now, I can still be around to help in the evenings and weekends and and be there for questions. So. So we're gonna try that for a few months and then if we like it we might do that some more going forward still want to buy land or something but we might just hold off might explore the country as next year goes and go from there so then the other looming question would be are we upgrading campers i bet we will <laughs> so we've done a lot of upgrades to this one and it's made it much more livable and enjoyable I like it, but I think it's gonna, it might be a little too small to be doing what we're wanting to do. Yeah, so, and we talked about getting something else and keeping this one. That way down the road we have this for like national park trips and stuff with smaller campgrounds. But we don't have anywhere to put it. Yeah, we already stored our crap halfway around the country. Like we got stuff in storage in Georgia, stuff in Indiana. So we can't just stuff keep. Stuff with friends. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got vehicles all over the place. So we can't just keep storing crap at a certain point. We got to make that go. decision. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so we've got some, we're buying more of the outdoor stuff to get the campgrounds where it's more outdoor living enjoyable, but. I think we'll be in this one for just a little bit because we've got to recover on yeah. some stuff. And but... when winter's coming, once we're forced inside more with rain and winter. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out, but. Thing is, is it's just so expensive right now. Yeah, Trailers so, are expensive. So that's our, our next hurdle. But, but yeah, so that's the plan. I know yesterday we were heading out. We said we'd get down here and share the plan with you. So that's where we're at. I mean, it's a very loose plan. We're winging a lot of things right now. <laughs> so We're kind of waiting the market out, too, on the yeah. housing and land. And I think we're going to go for land, though. Yeah. And we've, I mean, we've showed you guys. We've looked at some ran down houses. And I think it'd be really cool to get some house that's been neglected and bring it back to life. But... The ones we've looked at, either they want a lot. They're too far gone to where they need bulldozed, or the people want so much money for them as if they're something special, which a lot of them need taken. Just I mean, a hundred. It cost as much to fix them up as it would to build a new house. So I, I'm not going to overpay for a crappy little house, even if it's got character, just because someone else doesn't want to lose money. So. I understand people don't want to lose money on real estate, but it's reality. People do it all the time. We so, lose money on campers. I mean... Yeah, things depreciate. <laughs> Either take care of them or they depreciate. Yeah. So if you didn't take care of it, it's going to depreciate. You can't just get your money back or make money. Yeah, it's a good real estate market, but if you have a rotten house that's fallen in on itself, you don't get to make a profit on that. They think they can. Well, <laughs> or I should say you don't get to make a profit from me on that. <laughs> so... 
So yeah, there's a chance we see some little farmhouse or something like that that needs some work that we can afford and and buy it, or we might just keep traveling the country and find 20, 30 acres somewhere and just say screw it and buy that and then see how long it takes us to build. But for now, we'll leave you on that one. We'll hit the road here in a few and then we'll catch up with you in Tennessee here in a little bit. All right, so we just got to our campground in Tennessee and we're glad we have one of the surge protectors. So plugged it in. This is the first time we've actually had an error on it. So just holler at the campground host. I think I know what's wrong with it. I got my meter out and I've got 120 from hot to neutral, but then going from the hot to the ground, it'll bounce from like 120 down to nine. And like, it feels like there's crud packed in there. So pretty sure the outlet just needs cleaned out, but it's not mine. I'm not going to sit here and start poking stuff in the outlet to clean it out. So wait on the campground host, get this clean. But since we had this, it at least protected us from plugging in the camper and having dirty power to it and fluctuations and whatever that could cause. But so we'll sit here until they get here and then get everything hooked up. Okay. So we got the camper going. The, it was showing an open neutral, which took apart the surge protector I have and it fried inside that protector. But I noticed because there looked like there was dirt packed into this plug, it wasn't getting clean voltage. And then the plug looks like it's gotten hot. You can see burn marks on the actual plug on this side, and then the breaker was weak. So the maintenance guy came out and switched out the stuff in here. So that's good. But then we have a 50 to 30 adapter. So we use the 50 to 30 adapter to get this going but now we don't have surge protector. So we're gonna run into town and see if either Home Depot or Walmart has one in stock and at least get that because we still don't totally trust this. <laughs> and that's why it's important to have those protectors. So I'm pretty sure when I plug that in and kick the breaker on, that dirt in there caused the voltage to arc and blow out that thing is my guess. But can't prove that. It's also a couple years old. Maybe it's been just showing age, but pretty coincidental that this had issues and that blew out but we'll go see if we can get a new one. The minute you left, she flipped out. Yeah, of course. Uh-huh. Well, we're good, go. No call. I'm ready to get settled for a week. So really didn't film anything at this campground. Made it through the night without any electrical fires though. Yep. <laughs> but we did say here a few weeks back, so one of our previous videos when we were working our way to Indiana, we do have some footage of the campground. It's a nice place. But we're getting things loaded up for the final leg of this trip back south. Get back to Georgia today. And then once we get down there, first thing we're gonna do is go hit Camping World, get in our surge protector. So probably go in there, show you what we get, and then the new campground we're staying at, we'll probably do as a separate video, so probably just get the surge protector and then wrap this one up with that. So we'll see you guys here in a few. All right, so we're at the next campground. Just got set up, ran to Camping World. Got another surge protector, which I hate Camping World. Their advertised prices are the good Sam prices, not real prices. It's a fiasco. But we got it. We're protected now. 
campers running ac's going so we're gonna go and get set up for tonight we'll wrap this video up but here in the next couple days we'll go ahead and do a full review of this campground and show you where we're at for the week so we'll see you guys next time Thank you.